hello everyone welcome back to my channel before we move on i would like to invite you all to be a part of my youtube journey and become a part of my youtube family and you can do that by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon thank you for batak tandoori masala or tandoori marinade paste you need a cup of lemon juice you need a cup of vinegar you need half a cup of oil you need 8 tablespoons of onion powder 3 tablespoons of black pepper finely ground you need 2 tablespoons of salt 3 tablespoons of coriander powder 3 tablespoons of mango powder 2 tablespoons of cumin powder 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder a pinch of clove powder optional a teaspoon of nutmeg powder you need 2 tablespoons of ginger powder 2 tablespoons of minced garlic or garlic powder you need 4 to 6 tablespoons of cayenne pepper according to your taste if you like it to be um, hot then you add 6 tablespoons if you like it to be mild then you add 4 tablespoons of cayenne pepper or you can add red chili powder and you need 600 grams of tomato paste you can take any brand it's okay doesn't matter just take any brand of tomato paste 600 to 800 grams and you have to mix it all together if you like you can also add uh, food color you can add red food color to it ideally uh, as it is used in the patak tandoori paste you can see they have a very dark red reddish coloration now uh, if you like you can simmer this mixture add a glass of uh, water and you cook it and simmer on a simmering uh, flame like you cook it on a mild to low flame let the water evaporate the cup of the glass of water that you added or the cup of water that you added let it evaporate let the oil come out a little bit and then you can leave it like that and you can preserve it in a jar you can keep it in the fridge from 1 to 2 months and you can use it it is a concentrated paste it can be used in a small quantity like if you are making 3 pounds of meat um, ideally chicken this is uh, basically used in the chicken tikka marinade it is a tandoori chicken marinade if you are um, making for example if you are making boneless tandoori boti then you can use the marinade for 3 to 4 pounds of boneless chicken you use only 2 to 3 tablespoons of this mixture if you want it to be very spicy and hot you can add a bit more it's up to your taste i personally like to use just 2 tablespoons in about 3 to 4 pounds of meat and in addition i use some garlic and tomato paste in the marinade So I use two tablespoons of this, and I would add extra tomato paste and some garlic. But it's up to you; it's optional. If you want to use just this, this is perfectly fine. And another tip would be: you know, use this marinade for overnight marination. Then it would give a very amazing flavor in every bite of the meat that you're using. so this would last you uh, quite a lot of uh, your dishes it's a good amount i've made if you want to make half of it you can reduce the quantity accordingly it's up to you or you want to make more then it's up to you so this is the closest form of patak marinade you can get if you don't have access to buying it here it's very commonly available in the united kingdom I've never had any trouble 
uh, getting it uh, in the Europe, the European country. But in the United States, it's quite difficult. I find it quite difficult to get a big jar. It's not available on uh, Amazon. So I use these uh, tomato paste. I'm just showing you for reference. You can use any, just like I said earlier. So here it is. This is our. This is the closest you get to the Patek's tandoori marinade. 